This is Melissa Fuller with Shape of the City. There are more than 20 million new cases of STDs in America every year. Half of those occur in between the ages of 15 to 24. All of those are preventable, most of them are treatable, and some of them have long-term consequences. Here to talk more about sexually transmitted diseases in the, Uni in the Nebraska area, especially Lancaster County, I am with Barb Martinez with the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department. Hi, Barb. Hi. It's nice to be here. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Okay. So, Barb, can you tell us what are some of the most common sexually transmitted diseases here in the Lancaster County area? Well, actually, gonorrhea and chlamydia are really high. Um, and actually, from 2017, 2018, we were higher than the national average for having gonorrhea and chlamydia in Lancaster County. Also, syphilis is another um, STD that really is starting to be seen in a lot more people. So there are things out there we really need to be careful for. Can you tell us a little bit about those conditions in, in terms of what are the differences for people who may not know a little bit about that? Okay. Well, gonorrhea and chlamydia are, they're all sexually uh, transmitted. Um, gonorrhea and chlamydia are, are bacterial. They are treated with antibiotics. Um, you usually get some discharge, possibly some discharge. Uh, but syphilis is different, that you don't get any discharge usually. It's more ulcers and then a rash and moving on to um, into the third stage. So there are things out there that um, can cause severe problems. What would you tell our viewers about the importance of being tested or maybe they have a, a loved one that they feel should be tested? Uh, it's very important to be tested. The myth is that I would have symptoms if I had an STD or sexually transmitted disease. No, you don't have to have symptoms. Uh, or if you do, they can be really slight, come and go. You just ignore it. Um, maybe with the syphilis you see a little sore, but it, then it's not painful, it goes away. Um, so you just ignore it. So the thing is, if you're having sexual relations and not using condoms, um, having some risky sexual behaviors, then you really should be getting checked. So what are the best ways, and some of this may seem like common sense, but what are the best ways to avoid sexually transmitted diseases if you are a sexually active person? Well, first and most, um, know your partners your partner or partners, um, use condoms. Use condoms for every site that you might have sexual contact at, meaning oral, vaginal, or rectal. Um, you can have, you can use condoms for one site and not the other, and then you get the STD in that site where you didn't use a condom. So the most important thing is to know your partners, limit your partners, and use condoms. What are the main factors you're hearing that are keeping people from getting tested? I think um, part of it, especially in the younger group, is that it's not going to happen to me. I mean, I'm invincible um, and that I'm okay, you know. I don't have any symptoms, so why should I get checked? Um, why do I come in? Uh, sometimes it could be cost, but um, we work with them here at the health department with that. Um, sometimes they don't want to go to their doctor, their primary care doctor, don't want them to know or come from little towns. But the idea is you need to be tested, need to get checked. Can you tell me about some of the clinics that are available through the health department? I think you have at least three different clinics. Tell me a little bit about those and how are those each a little different? Okay. Uh, yes, we have uh, STD clinics, uh, what we call them, or sexual health clinics. Um, every Tuesday, 1 to 3, walk-in basis. Every Thursday, 5 to 7, walk-in basis. And then we just started... Um, a by appointment on Wednesday mornings for STDs. Now that is a comprehensive uh, exam. They come in, they get the blood, they do the urine, um, and then we do a visual exam. The provider does visual exams, and it's a comprehensive testing. Uh, we can even treat for warts if we need to. Uh, we do not do pap smears, but they are it, for the women, it is a pelvic exam. Um, and then through our, what we call our express clinic, um, anyone can come in Monday through Friday, come in, drop, um, 
have a urine sample, give us a urine sample, and we will send that off for gonorrhea and chlamydia. The one bad, um, not bad, but the one um, downfall for just coming in through the express clinic is that the other sites, like maybe the oral or the rectal sites are not tested for gonorrhea and chlamydia. It would be only through the urine that we're testing for that through the express clinic. What would you tell a viewer that might be a little more nervous about coming in or concerned about their privacy? Okay. Well, you know, we have the HIPAA laws for privacy. We all are sworn to those. Um, we keep those in high confidence. Um, we only call you by your first name. No records are sent anywhere um, unless you sign a release if, or they sign a release saying that they'd like their records sent to the doctor or if they want a copy of their records, we even have them sign a release for that. So we just, we respect that confidentiality and keep it quiet. Uh, where should our vo viewers go to get both more information on some of the clinics and what you guys offer, but also do you have a place that you recommend people to go to get, have information on sexually transmitted disease, a reliable place? Also, one more thing before I um, yeah. finish is that we also do herpes testing. Um, that is um, through our clinics but you do need to pay for that one, whereas the others, we will work with you a little bit on payment if there's an issue with payment. But with the herpes, we can draw that for like $50. Um, as far as where to go, you could go to www.lincoln.ne.gov slash health. That takes us to, that takes you to the um, sheet, uh, front, front page for the health department and under community health services. It talks, uh, gives the little bulletins. You can go to the sexual health and you'll find all that information there. Are there places that you recommend, you know, CDC or other ones that have reliable information for people to go to? Yes, CDC is always a good one. Uh, CDC sexual, just do CDC um, sexual health and you'll get all kinds of information that needs to be, yeah. Are there any other last words you would like to give to our viewers on the importance of getting out and utilizing some of the services you guys are offering? Also one thing is if you want to talk to a person, we have nurses online Monday through Friday 8 to 4.30. Uh, you can give them a call. It's 402-441-8065. Um, but use the services here in the community um, with the STDs, the gonorrhea and chlamydia above national weights. We do have an issue here. It's really important to come in and get tested. Um, sexual health is a p part of your health just as physical and mental health is. So it's important that you do come in, get tested. Um, we are here. We are here to help. We are available. Um, so please come on in.